Hi, this is Dr. Tracy. I'm a chaplain with IAOCC, International Alliance of Community Chaplains, and this is Chaplain uh, Roger Tickle with uh, MVAPC and uh, Set Free Ministries. And we're here at Christ the King uh, Community Church here in Fredericktown, and we're here to talk to you about emergency uh, supplies and things like that um, if you have to evacuate or something happens to where you have to leave really quickly. Well, so far we've done a 72-hour bucket. We've shown you how to make your hygiene kit. Now we need to talk about water. Um, with your family, you know, the, the rule of thumb is that you should have a gallon of water per person per day. But what happens if you are leaving in an emergency situation where you don't have a gallon of water right away uh, to be able to uh, put in your car or, they did, or you weren't able to store it or something happened. Well, we've got a couple of things to show you that might help with that situation if you, are, if you find yourself in an emergency situation and you need water for you and your family. So you've got a several different things here. So if you're going to be storing water, we, you, know, you can store bottled water or a, a jug of water, a gallon of water for a limited time. And as long as you keep them out of the heat, anything, as long as you keep it below 75 and above freezing, you know, it usually keeps for about a year. If you're going to freeze it, well, it keeps a little bit longer than that. Um, but there are also different products out there that you can use that will help you with the water situation if you find yourself in an emergent situation. So one of those things is emergency drinking water. You can find these in pouches. Now, you can actually order these online. Um, Walmart has a brand of them, several, and again, not getting any money from anybody, but you can look online, you can, you can uh, look on Amazon, you can look at Walmart's websites, and you, it'll say emergency drinking water in pouches. And so what happens is, is that you can, you can order them online, you get them in a, in a big bag full of pouch, pouch full of water, and then these will keep indefinitely, um, uh, since they're, since they are stored like this. Now... Um, there will be a manufacture date on there, but there is no expiration date on these, so I can't exactly tell you about expiration on these pouches of water so, or how long they'll last. So, Roger, here you go with your pouch of water. Now, you're in an emergency situation. You realize, oh, no, um, I have my water in my car, but you open it, and it doesn't quite smell okay or there's it kind of looks a little off or you taste it and it might be a little off well, we recommend that you always keep these little uh these little pills that are pure water purification pills and again you can get these at a camping store or walmart they have them there too this happens to be the coleman brand again not getting any money from coleman <laughs> um but you can buy them like this and you can keep them in your hygiene kit or you can keep them in your car in your your storage tote or or in your bucket whatever you need to do and all all you do with one of these the directions are on the back you take one of the pills and usually one of these pills i believe goes into a gallon of water but read the directions and use them wisely. So put one of these in there, let it sit, let it dissolve, let it do its thing, and then your water should be potable. You can do that with water that's not in one of these pouches as well. So if you find water along the way and you don't have the ability to boil it or you don't have the ability to purify it another way, then again, these little pills... Uh, water purification pills are there for that for that purpose, and they're, you should keep some of those with you. Another option, again, is something called Life Straw. And we talked about these whenever we were talking about putting your bucket together. Now, these Life Straws, um, these are good for up to filtration of up to 1,000 gallons of water. So as you see here, I don't know if you can see here on this little package, he's drinking from a nasty green stream right from the life straw. That's how good these are. That is the truth. Um, they have a great filtration system on there. Um, it, it weeds out parasites as well as bacteria, things like that too. And again, these were meant and made for areas where the water was questionable. And there's, again, there are instructions uh, inside the bag and there are instructions on the back side of the bag. And it looks like this. And it's just very, very simple to use. This is the side that you drink out of. This is the side that you put into your water source. You just stick it in there and you can just drink. And again, you can get these right now. You can buy these at Walmart or you can dry, buy them from lifestraw.com online. They also offer a bottle version 
um, of the life straw. And again, uh, they also offer larger ones as well that filter uh, more. But we recommend at least one of these per person as you go. So what do you think about that thing, Roger? Man, I'd, you know, that'd be great. The thing is, this sounds crazy, but you never know. Mm -hmm. I mean, we see, we've seen recently how quick disaster can come on us, mm -hmm. and you don't know where you're going to end up sometimes. So mm -hmm. very wise. And you can't survive without water. For sure. Three days, dead. Just saying. We need to be careful about what we're doing. And you need to think about it, because three weeks without food, you can live about three weeks without food on average, but you can only live about three days or so without water. And so water is vital to your life. So make sure you have your own system of, of getting water. Another thing, like I said, these, uh, th you know, you can get these in Life Straw. This happens to be the Seychelles brand. It's a water filtration system as well. And again, what you do with this one is you just fill it with water and then it's got the filtration system already inside. And you wanna make sure that you kind of peel off the thing on the bottom. And then you just close it up, let it, let it set for a little bit, let it, let it do its thing, and then you can have potable water. So those are things that you want to think, think about. If you're still not sure, if you have a way of boiling water, that's always pretty safe, but that doesn't always get everything out of it either. So we, we recommend if you're going to boil water that you use the water filtration tablets as well um, because there are some things that boiling don't get, doesn't get out. So that. Now, what happens if you don't have any of these things? Oh, my goodness. We're you're, in trouble, aren't in we? are in trouble. We're in trouble. Well, I have here my handy-dandy rain poncho. You know, you can get these at Walmart or any camping store as well. Um, this happens to be the Ozark Trail brand. And again, it slips right over your head like a rain poncho, right? There you go. Now, I don't have any water. It's raining, okay? I did provide myself with some shelter because I'm going to stay inside my car. But I still don't have any water. So what am I going to do? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I take my poncho and I'm going to make sure that I have my paracord with me. I'm always going to have paracord with me as part of my disaster. So what I'm going to do is see in this one, you got these little handy dandy little grommets. Well, hold that grommet, hold that grommet. Here we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our little dealy whopper here. We're going to take our paracord and we're going to hang this up on a tree or between two trees or something like that, or even somehow over my car if I needed to. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna make sure that in the end of this, where my little hole, hood hole is, I'm gonna open that up once I get this topped. I'm gonna open that little hole up by pushing this down through the bottom. And I'm gonna make sure that that hole is open and I'm gonna have something underneath there to grab some water for me. I can keep it in the hood for a little bit, or I can have it gather in the hood, or I can put a little something underneath there. You know, I wouldn't recommend a dirty sneaker. <laughs> Probably, yeah. No. Yeah, I'm thinking, you know, no. but you could try that, but you know, whatever it takes. But you're gonna have a way to have water this way now. So the dew in the morning will be trapped on top of the tarp, and as long as you've got it headed in the same direction, and it's tilted this way, it's gonna go down through that hole. If you need to, put a weight in it. You could, that's what you can use your dirty sneaker for, I'm thinking. Yeah. But you can put a weight in it to make sure that it stays this way. So always have something available to, put, to catch the water in the underneath too. So it's, you know, I could survive alone with just this, just saying. So not expensive, not hard to do, but there's also ways to get water that way. So just looking out for you. So remember, you can only live about three days without water. You need hydration, so you need to be thinking about that too. Here are some really good options. Um, you can also look online for some other options. So again, this is Dr. Tracy with IOCC and uh, Chaplain Roger with MVAPC and Set Free Ministries here at CTK. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.